Three nanometer M3 is being tested now at TSMC, and the FTC sues to prevent Nvidia's ARM deal. Plus, when will Apple's VR headset arrive, and what will it cost? All sponsored by privateinternetaccess.com forward slash iCaveDave for four extra months free with your subscription. More about that later. I'm Mike Dave, and I simplify Apple so that everything just works for you. And if you want the latest Apple leaks, news, and rumors every weekday at 12 UTC, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell. And Apple's chip manufacturer of choice, TSMC, has reportedly begun test runs of the M3 processor on their 3 nanometer technology. This report comes via Digitime, so take that as you will. But the chips are expected to hit volume production in the fourth quarter of 2022 and ship in the first quarter of 2023. Len Adams asked, so there are going to be three nanometer M3 chips. How do you feel about that? Well, this lines up perfectly with the M2 chips that would have been in production most likely this past October and ready to ship in quarter one of 2022, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is what I've been saying for ages. This would mean our spring M series and fall M Pro and M Max cadence makes all the sense in the world and will be hitting those annual upgrade cycles that I love talking about so much and other tech YouTubers seem skeptical of. Remember, once the redesigned chassis are all in place for the new Apple devices, it should be reasonably trivial to design boards carrying the new chips to just drop in using the same mountings year on year. The delays we're seeing right now are more to do with the backlog of redesigns that Apple is pushing out to differentiate the products with the new Apple Silicon, and I believe that the 24-inch iMac design was probably intended for release around 2016 or 2017 following the 12-inch MacBooks, but they had to delay these as Intel failed to hit their power targets, meaning that the devices wouldn't be able to cope with the heat output. So this is a great thing for the upcoming year, assuming this is one of those coin flips that Digitimes wins. Speaking of ARM chips, the US Federal Trade Commission is suing to block Nvidia's purchase of ARM. This follows the UK regulators also opposing the deal. The FTC opposes the deal, saying that the acquisition would stifle innovation of next-generation technologies, and that even if NVIDIA didn't limit which companies could have licenses, they could easily block features that they were concerned would harm NVIDIA's other products. And I quote, The FTC is suing to block the largest semiconductor chip merger in history to prevent a chip conglomerate from stifling the innovation pipeline for the next-generation technologies, said the FTC Bureau of Competition Director Holly Vadova. Tomorrow's technologies depend on preserving today's competitive cutting-edge chip markets. This proposed deal would distort ARM's incentives in chip markets and allow the combined firm to unfairly undermine Nvidia's rivals. The FTC's lawsuit should send a strong signal that we will act aggressively to protect our critical infrastructure markets from illegal vertical mergers that have far-reaching and damaging effects on future innovations. So, given the level of opposition, perhaps this isn't going to happen. On the plus side, it saves NVIDIA $40 billion that they can spend on actually making some graphics cards that people can buy. And next up, we have an iCave Answers question. We have more of these coming later today, so don't forget to set a reminder for those. But this first question comes from Josh. iCave Answers. If Apple released an AR VR headset, would you get it? Also, how much do you think it would cost? Well, Josh, from the looks of things, we're probably going to get some more information on this next year. It looks like WWDC is going to be the time, if ever, that Apple releases uh, developer transition kits for this, which means that we're looking at a fourth quarter of 2022 for the release. That would be sort of October to December, but more likely in the first half of that, probably before the, the second half of November. So I guess we're probably looking around about this time next year. We should have it. Um, in terms of how much it will cost, I really don't know. I think it's going to be a couple of grand to begin with. A couple of 4K OLED displays in there, um, plus an M1 style chip. It's basically going to be like a MacBook Pro uh, that sits on your face with two screens. So kind of crazy, um, but we will see. Apple has a way of actually making technology like this fairly approachable. Uh, the original iPad when it came out, $500. The original Apple Watch when it came out, $400. And still top of the line for for the Apple Watch, un unless you want fancy materials, still $400. They might surprise us all and bring it out at $999. If they do, I'll be snapping one up. If they don't, I'll hopefully have enough money to be snapping one up. 
and a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Private Internet Access, the world's most transparent VPN provider, with over 30 million downloads. It's a simple to use VPN that works with your Mac, iPhone, iPad, and even those PC things and Android phones, routing all of your traffic through a secure tunnel to hide your IP address and keep what you're doing private. And let's be honest, if you're watching this video, you're probably using the devices you are because you value your privacy. Private Internet Access hides your network data from everyone, from your internet service provider or network administrator to government sensors. And it's the most customizable on the market, letting you set custom rules for different websites and offering no bandwidth restrictions or speed throttling so you can stream, upload and download to your heart's content privately. And my favourite part is that it's 100% open source, so if you're one of those clever people who knows what you're actually looking at, it's easy to verify that everything is above board from the open GitHub repositories. No user data is stored and PIA's no-log policy has been proven in court multiple times. So get your three-year subscription with four extra months absolutely free for only $1.98 a month. That's 83% off only by visiting privateinternetaccess.com forward slash iCaveDave as this offer is exclusive for you guys and it's risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer support. So why wait? And thank you so much for watching the show, guys. Don't forget, we have more IK answers coming for you later on today, so don't miss that. Uh, we've got all sorts of questions coming in on that one, so don't miss it. Also, thanks to all these Patreon guys over here that uh, subscribe and basically support the channel month by month. Really appreciate you all.